Maboba Adyar is Afghanistan's sole female competitor at this summer's Olympic Games. Along with Masood Azizi and two others, the quartet make up the country's team for Beijing. The facilities aren't exactly what you'd call state-of-the-art in Kabul. This barren training ground is in fact the capital's main sports stadium. and It's where the Taliban used to hold public executions. 19-year-old Mabobo will have to stretch herself to the limit if she wants respectability in China. Her best time in the 1500 metres is four and a half minutes. That's a full 60 seconds slower than the Olympic record. You have to say it's not surprising any aerodynamism is removed by the headscarf, long trousers and a long-sleeved shirt she has to wear for races. It's for religion's sake, of course, and that's something Mabobo won't sacrifice. I don't want to be dressed the way Westerners are during the competitions. If somehow I'm forced to get dressed the way they want, I'll not take part in the competition. 20-year-old male sprinter Masood Azizi has been training like a demon for four years since competing in the 2004 Games. His dream, however unlikely, is to win a medal in the 100 metres this summer, even though his best time is a full second slower than the world record. I feel happy to be able to compete with the champions who take part in those competitions and also to be able to represent Afghanistan and compete. Unsurprisingly, Afghanistan's never won a medal at the Olympics. In recent times, the only struggle there has been for day-to-day -day survival. The country was banned from competing in Sydney by the Taliban. Indeed, at that time, women were banned from taking part in sport at all in Afghanistan. Those attitudes still prevail in some parts of Kabul. Ajiar is often abused by local youths for just being an athlete, but she has the full support of her family. Some people harass us sometimes and that makes us feel scared, but I still feel proud that my daughter is making progress and also doing something for Afghanistan. Afghanistan's two runners, a wrestler and a taekwondo player, may not grab medal glory in Beijing, but the very fact they're competing at all is all the glory they need for the moment.